friends welcome back to our channel learn with gigs in this video i will discuss with you one very very important power bi interview question which is basically if you have two tables and those two tables are connected with each other through many to many relationship then what will be your approach to resolve it whether you will go for many to many relationship or will you not so let's discuss about this scenario and i hope after watching this video your concept will be clear and you can easily answer this question in this scenario in your power bi interviews too so let's start the video and before that if you're new to the channel then do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos because you won't find the videos like this anywhere else on youtube plus you can also follow me on instagram where you will find helpful contents related to data analytics domain so here on the screen you can see i have two tables one is customer table and the other is transaction table i will show you the data also in these two tables i have created this dummy data for just to show you the example of many to many relationship so this is customer table where i have different ids and we have different customer names over here right for different customer ids we have a transaction table also that transaction table basically has the customer names their respective transactions on the corresponding dates for example shashank has done two transactions on 1st september 2023 similarly uh, bharat has done six transactions on 7th september 2023 so basically the transaction details are there in this particular table for all those customers okay now we have these two tables and if i go to the data data model view here so here you can see here these two tables are as of now disconnected right now to make a model out of these two tables i need to connect these two tables so customer is the column which is common in both these two tables now if i drag and drop and create a relationship between these two tables like this so you can see here the customer column is the common column so that is selected but many to many relationship is being formed so as you can see here ankur is present twice here but in this table it is present only once here similarly shashank is present twice here but in this table it is present once here so overall many to many relationship is being formed here now since it is many to many it is asking it is giving a disclaimer here in the below you can see this relationship has cardinality many to many this should only be used if it is expected that neither column customer from both the side contains unique values and that the significantly different behavior of many to many relationship is understood learn more regarding this so basically whenever we have many to many relationship it is quite possible that we can get ambiguous results when the data model is large in the real time projects the ambiguity the chances of getting uh, the chances of having ambiguity increases and that i have personally seen also so that's why this is very important that if it is many to many relationship we should try to break that and make somehow one to many relationship be between these two tables so now how to break this many to many and create a one to many relationship between do, between these two tables in a indirect way so how to do that and that is where this question is asked how will you resolve this many to many so lot of you what you do you have just read about it okay whenever we have many to many relationship we will create a bridge table between them and our problem will be resolved many to many will be gone but this is not a way you should answer in front of the interviewer okay because this shows that you have mucked up the answer because the counter of question will be how will you exactly resolve it can you show tell me through an example so there you will be fumbling up right because you don't know the actual answer you have just mucked up the answer that okay you can create a bridge table and many to many will be gone but no that is not the right way so how to resolve this and how to answer this in front of the interviewer so that it looks that you genuinely know how to resolve it okay so let's now proceed i will now cancel this and let us create a bridge table or you can say a sub table which will help us to indirectly connect these two tables through one to many relationship so how to do that so for that i will first go to the transform data tab okay and this step you have to follow in every power bi report that you are creating if you have this kind of scenario so basically these two tables have customer column common among them so what i will do i will just create a duplicate of this table you can create duplicate of any of the table i am creating a duplicate of transaction here so here is my duplicate okay i will name it as bridge table okay after making the after renaming it what i will do 
I will just remove other columns except this column, customer column. Once I have done that, then I will remove duplicates from here. Okay, remove duplicates. So now I have unique list of customer in this breach table. So this is the step that you have to follow. Basically, you have to do a duplication of an existing table, then remove the other columns that we have done here, except that common column, which is customer column here. Now after that, removing the other columns, then remove the duplicates of this existing customer column like we have done here. So once we have got this unique list of values of customer, then just we have to do close and apply here. Okay. Now the bridge table, customer table and transaction table, three tables are there. Now we go to the model view. And now if I show you here, so see, we have a bridge table and Power BI automatically have created a one to many relationship between these two tables. So now our model is correct. Now the ambiguity part will be removed because we have indirectly connected these two tables through one to many with the common column that is customer cable and using this bridge table. Now, whenever you will be visualizing the columns of this model. So whenever you have to visualize customer column or you want to pull customer column, you always have to pull customer column from this bridge table only remember this. For example, I will go here, bring a table visual here. And if I have to show customer, then I have to go to bridge table and bring customer from here. Now if I have to uh, show transactions, I can show transactions. If I have to show the transaction date, I can show the transactions date. So remember to pull column from bridge table only. That is where it will show you the right values. And that is how we do in actual real time projects. I hope you understood this many to many concept. How do we resolve it? What is the actual step? And the same way you have to answer it in front of the interviewer. If you will answer like this, the interview will be very much satisfied. So I hope you understood everything. So please do like the video and share the video to all your friends and colleagues, whoever are in need of this and stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Thank you.